Gracias. Good morning. We are going to be docking in Barbados very, very shortly. So Frank and I are going to go out for breakfast. Ethan behind us is still sleeping. So we're going to have a little bit of breakfast and uh, then head out in about an hour to go and explore. So we are in Barbados now and it looks to me like we're almost docking. I think we are still moving a little, but I could be wrong. I'm just going to head up top deck because it looks so beautiful and I always wanted to go to Barbados so I did really want to check this out even before we go and eat breakfast. A little tip, um, if pool towels are not placed in your room, sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. So if they are not placed in your room, do pick them up um, at the pool deck. Sometimes I think about it ahead of time and I put them in the cabin the day before. Most of the time I don't. So. We're heading there this morning to pick those up as well. So here we are in Barbados and our ship is actually just um, docking, just parking here in Barbados. And I did want to show you a little bit of this because I think that um, for me, I really expected Barbados to be um, a very picturesque port as we came in. I've just always wanted to come to Barbados and I know it will be very, very beautiful. Um, but I did want to show you that some ports, obviously some ports are really working ports. And this is a very industrial uh, port that we are in. And we've been in some before, but it's certainly a little bit of a contrast between St. Thomas that we were in the other day and St. Martin, which we've been in before, and even Grand Cayman and some other ports. So we are going to be heading into Barbados shortly. First, we're gonna be having some breakfast, but our plan is to actually go to Boatyard Beach. So I'll show you that later today. You'll see what you think. It looks like it's a pretty active beach. Um, there are some good things about it. I'll let you know a little bit later, but there are some other beaches that you may wanna to go to as well that are supposed to be very beautiful, including Carlisle Beach. So I'll let you know a little bit about um, what we do here in Barbados and what you can do here in Barbados um, through the video today. our breakfast up now it's about 10 after 9 and we'll be heading into Barbados soon I just wanted to show you how so many ships seem to be docking today right in the same area we have behind us um, the Azura I think it's P&O but I'm actually not um, not too sure that's my guess we have a silver sea ship behind us and we have the Norwegian epic as well so that's kind of fun and um, just something to let you know this is probably the first time we've had like these little rain showers every morning um, that we're in for like little rain clouds that drop a little bit of rain when we're in St. Thomas and then today as well when we're, Bar when we're in Barbados and it's really not a problem. It's very light, but maybe this is something in this area of the Caribbean at this time of the year. We are in January, so maybe it's something um, if it bothers you maybe to be aware of, but they really are, it's really these sunny, hot little showers that sprinkle a little bit and then they go away. And I guess the benefit is we didn't see a rainbow before, so that was kind of nice. Taxi to any place 
rest of your choice including Bridgetown. Also, you can make your way to Bridgetown by walking. It's approximately 15 to 18 minutes away. On returning to the port, ladies and gentlemen, everyone will then make their way back through the general gates to the back of the terminal where you are now about to disembark so you can take the shuttle back to the ship. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves. Please be careful. Happy New Year to you all. God bless you. Stay here with me. Yard um, area of Carlisle Bay in Barbados. So it is really just beautiful here. What we decided to do for the day um, is come to Boat Yard. So some information about Boat Yard. Boat Yard is $25 to enter and included in that are your chairs and your umbrella and some activities along the beach. So some of the things that you'll see, I don't know if you can see it behind me, but I will add it into the video is there's like an iceberg you can climb and a couple of other water things, um, uh, sort of a Tarzan rope, so that's quite nice. It also does come included with this little strap. Um, there is a welcome drink. So there was like a fruit punch, a Caribbean beer, uh, a soft drink. Um, so a couple of different choices. There's also snorkeling that's included. 
and it's a little snorkeling trip. I'm heading out to, there's a shipwreck and a little boat um, that's gonna take you out there and you can go and do a little short snorkeling trip, which they say also you can view some turtles. So there's a lot included for the $25, which is why we did come here. But something just to let you know is if you don't come to Boat Yard, there are beaches on either side. So you can always see if I'm not actually sure, if I find out the information, I will leave it in a blog post down below of this video but because I'm not sure of the entrance cost to any of the other beaches. We just came here right away, but I will give you a tip. If you come here, come to Boat Yard very early because that front row that you see, which is like the coveted spot, right? That's the best view on this beach. You've got to get here early to get that. We are three rows behind. And so our view is actually not as awesome as these guys over here. The beach is still beautiful though. So, um, and something to mention also, I'm gonna turn, is those sea views that you see are not included in Carlisle Beach. And our understanding is you can't actually do them if you're on Carlisle. You have to do it separately. So I'm not really sure 100% about that, but that's just something to let you know. And at Carlisle Beach, you will um, be able to have um, some food options that you can order, our son, Ethan, ordered a club sandwich. He said that was really, really good. So we might eat and drink a little bit later as the day goes. And we're just hoping that this nice sun that we're seeing now is gonna hold out for the day. which is also Carlisle Bay and it really is just beautiful. You can see the water color is stunning. So definitely come by here if you're in Barbados. It's an easy place to come. Um, we were told that cruise ship excursions coming to this area are about $39 a person. So um, just to give you an idea, we paid $5 for the cab to come here and then we paid $25 to get in. That included the welcome drink and the snorkeling and all that. And uh, so that's a total of 30 because it does include your shuttle on the way back. So obviously it depends on you, but, um, and we're here a super long day, so it was really easy to get here. It was maybe um, a maximum of 10 minute taxi ride. Very quick, very quick ride. And you see all the stuff that is going on here at the You're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm Sunny, and I'm in Barbados. We are by the Carlyle Bay. The establishment name is Copacabana. So this you is You find great. me on this beach. So definitely look up Sunny. Um, he has some beautiful handmade jewelry, and with turquoise and uh, moonstones. Moonstone, amethyst. So all very beautiful. I'll show you. I'm just buying some earrings, but what Sunny does is he includes uh, a drawing with your jewelry. So 
definitely something special. So very nice. And what we did is we came in through Boatyard, as I mentioned, but there's also along Carlisle, there are Carlisle Beach. There are some other um, resorts that you can come in through. Um, this one that we're sitting at right now, where our friends are is, you said it's Copa? Copa Cabana. Copa Cabana. So it really, the beach is the same everywhere. So the beach is just gorgeous. So wherever you decide to go, if you don't want something that's like including snorkeling and stuff like that, then maybe come to Copa Cabana because honestly, it's really beautiful. The chairs are really nice. We're over at um, Boatyard, which is just next door. And it's also very nice, but it is a little bit more of a louder beach. If you'd like quieter, I would say that Copa Cabana might be a better choice for you, but both are really nice. Your drawings are beautiful. Thank you. It's a gift from God. Mm -hmm. That's why I do my yard. I do big ones of these too, but... Do you? Yeah, I had a couple and they got sold today. So. Lovely. Barbados is nice though. It's not as very friendly. It's one of the nicest islands in the Caribbean. Yes, it's been beautiful so far. It's 166 square miles. Oh yes? It has a population of a quarter million of people. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 21 by 14. And we are most on the eastern side, so he doesn't get hit by hurricanes that often. So it's a good place for people to come and visit? Of course, it's a beautiful place. One of the best in the Caribbean. And it's also where Rihanna was born. We like Rihanna. Yeah, <laughs> this is her homeland. She's great too. Yeah, this is her homeland. Okay, there you go, my dear. Just for you. Thank you. So these, these are turquoise. They're from the earth. They're precious stone and they're very nice. They have a good feeling snake. Thank you very much. And I have to say, the prices are very reasonable. So it's definitely um, more than a nice souvenir that Some you can have from Barbados. So definitely look sunny up um, over here on Carlisle Bay. And only in Barbados. Gotta to come to Barbados <laughs> to see sunny. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, it. day six and I will show you what we are wearing tonight um, to the main dining room and it's again another smart casual night um, and we are now in Barbados so we're not actually leaving for a little while but we are gonna go to dinner soon so I'll just show you I'm actually wearing a super comfy sort of knit dress this is the comfiest little dress that I have and it's great because it doesn't um, well basically it doesn't um, doesn't get wrinkled or anything and sometimes like I can put on flats and I could even wear it during the day and it's just I found a cute easy dress I like to wear it in the summertime or on cruises or I could even dress it up tonight I decided to wear my sort of more fancy shoes my sp sparkly shoes but I can put it with a neutral which I've done before my other like neutral wedges and I found it's kind of cute also so that's just what I decided to do tonight in terms of yeah, let me just show you this is the way it looks and well probably there's a few days of cruising now but this is what it is so very very easy casual dress and in terms of jewelry i'm really just wearing um these kate spade um earrings and they're gold with just a little almost like a citron color inside I am wearing um, a Michael Kors necklace. It's one of my favorite necklaces and it's just a simple gold pendant and it's got a little um, a little diamond on the inside there. I don't think it's a real diamond, but it's a pretty little, um, little Michael Kors uh, simple necklace. And then here I have that little kind of blingy ring here. And then on this side, I have, um, I went back to the vintage ring and uh, my eternity band and this is just um, a Savorsky neck uh, bracelet which I like so one of my kind of crystal bracelets and so that is my outfit oh 
I do want to show you um, the little bag that I bring most of the time. I don't remember if I showed it to you the other night, but I did want to show you this is the bag that I wear, my little clutch that I wear um, basically every night when I go to the um, to the dining room or when I walk around in the evening because I can keep my lip gloss in it and maybe like a few business cards and you know something else, even the medallion if I want to keep it in there. And I also, when we get off on port days, it becomes my wallet. So let me show you. So this is the little clutch um, or the little wristlet that I wear. And it's really just um, the simple um, Michael Kors one. I've had it for probably at least five years or so, but I love the, um, the brown and gold color. I just find it goes with everything. So this is my wallet that I usually use, and it also becomes my wristlet for all of the casual nights, no matter what I'm wearing on a cruise. Music